people of the YouTuber versus once again welcome back to the channel lovely to see all your smiling faces today okay so what you guys just saw us do is we filled up the power steering fluid we finished connecting everything in the front end of the car uh, just rechecked the water and we drained what do you call this thing bled the power steering line by just swinging it all the way lock to lock wow I caught that with my feet <laughs> So we, we turned the steering wheel lock to lock and we got the power steering lines bled, right? So next up, we're going to take this car for its first test drive since having the engine rebuilt. I'm sorry about the lighting in this. It was late at night and like I said, this camera doesn't do very well with night shots. Um, the audio is also going to sound off because I didn't use the external mic, I just used the onboard mic. So without any further ado, let's get down to the first test drive. Let's go for a drive! Okay, so we are currently embarking on test drive number one. Let's see how well it goes. We're not going to go very far just because we just need to check that the car is okay, right? minutes later. Okay, so, as you guys saw, it drove. <laughs> it wasn't the happiest chappy ever. Um, we currently definitely need to get those engine mounts done. So, today, we managed to go and get the high tensile bolts from Robot Hardware. So, next, we're gonna cut the plastic sheeting off of the actual mounts themselves. We're gonna drill through the hole where the plastic is in there, and we're gonna get the top and bottom painted hopefully we can get the engine up and actually get those bolts loosened remember we couldn't do that while it was while we were trying to take the engine out uh, I got a breaker bar we're gonna try use that again and see if we can finally get these engine mounts out the old ones out and get the new ones installed we had a lot of vibration the gear shifter was <laughs> everywhere but that I'm assuming is obviously from the vibration of the engine because the mounts are on the sides and the engine was doing this right uh, the tranny mount needs to be replaced also, so we need to build one of those. Um, but let's try and just get the engine mounts done for now. After we do that, we need to try and fix the air filter box, which isn't kinda in the right spot. We need to get this guy mounted properly. Uh, we need to reroute some of the hosing for this guy to be mounted properly, um, because he wasn't intended for this purpose. So we need to get that done, and then we want to try and see if we can get the bumper mounted on, and maybe also the bonnet, uh, just so we can free up space. Let's start somewhere by starting somewhere.
so there we have it, right? Um, we've done basically a whole bunch of nothing in this episode, unfortunately. <laughs> we took the car for the drive. Um, the We figured out the engine mount needed to be fixed. Um, and then we need to figure out what the little strange, like, scraping, rattling is. I'm wondering if it isn't, there, there's a bunch of loose bolts and stuff in there, so I'm just assuming it's that. Um, when I say in there, I mean like inside the car. Um, next we finalized basically the engine mounts, but we didn't get them put on because the bolt at the bottom is seized. So, um, we can't cut that off with the angle grinder because there's no space. You guys saw me try and put the angle grinder in there. Um, so tomorrow I'm going to go and get a bolt splitter, um, but the place is closed right now. So can't do that right now. And then we just finalized some new positions of hoses and things like that. Uh, we got the catch can, put it down there. We just need to figure out a way to like strap it up. I think I'm just gonna table tie this here for now. Um, the intake is in the better position with everything, all the piping and everything's been rooted again. So now the catch can's going from both the exhaust side and the intake side, or intake side and the exhaust side. So now we got some pretty solid catching <laughs> going on there. Um, yeah, then I just finalized the rest of this hosing and everything else. Um, I was putting the bumper on as you guys saw and then I decided against that because uh, multiple reasons. The bumper is slightly warped. Um, the frame is still skew, which means we're gonna have to take the bumper off in any case. Um, but now the only thing is we can't really drive the car without the bumper, but uh, I don't know. I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do. Might just be on the next time we start the videos. <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, everything does not line up because um, when you try and put things back on in the correct mounting holes, the mounting holes aren't in the right place, right? So, let's hope this car can go to the body shop anytime soon. And then, and then, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's about it for right now. Next week, I'll tell you what we're doing. <laughs> But in any case, thank you guys for watching. Um, I don't know if you guys saw the rats in the video. The rats in there. There's the rat. Um, yeah, there's the rat. Carmen's holding the rat. She's very proud of it. So yeah, she said you guys gonna see it. There he is. Okay, um, so in the next video, uh, yeah, we're gonna try and see what we can get done. We might finalize the interior. We might have everything closed up. We might have the car running to go and buy another exhaust. Um, but yeah, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Love you much. Bye.